Hey everybody, welcome back to All About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, consider hitting that subscribe button. So today we're going to be talking about one of Disney Plus's most anticipated films of the year, Soul. is rated PG. It is an hour and 47 minutes along. It was released on Disney Plus December the 25th and it stars Jamie Foxx as Joe and Tina Fey as 22. Now even though I did say this is a anticipated film of the year, I did not say it was my anticipated film of the year because it wasn't. I wasn't honestly in all of the previews when I saw it. It did of course remind me a lot of Inside Out, kind of like a different kind of version of it, which after watching it, it, it does still give me those vibes and so we are talking about like the afterlife pre-life life itself the meaning of life in a way so let's go ahead and get on with this uh spoiler free review so again it did come out today um on christmas day well actually when you guys see it it'll be it came on yesterday <laughs> i do think it is a really nice original movie i did expect more out of it though it's not one of my favorite pixar films to be honest with you i personally don't feel like this movie is a masterpiece generally but i i could say that the animation is a masterpiece but the overall movie itself me personally it's not animation overall i mean it is just absolutely amazing it's stunning to look at it's beautiful it's gorgeous i love all the details that we do see within the movie even when it does come to like the sweat or the glisten of somebody who's sweaty when they're playing the piano one of the other things that i feel that soul captured so well was new york city i've only been once in my life and honestly i only visited it for one day to be honest with you we went to washington and we just kind of drove into new york for a day why i i like why only a day i don't know but we did see a lot i really feel like this movie captured like the overall ambience and the feel and the culture that is new york city also that barbershop you guys i really dug the way that that looked just chilling that one chair that nobody wants to sit in and them just kind of like bickering the storytelling the moral of the story also is really great as well we do start thinking it's one thing though like as far as like the consistency kind of throws you off a little bit the beginning of the movie you think we're going in one direction we think this is what we're focusing on again i'm trying not to give you guys any spoilers and then it just kind of shifts somewhere midway and then we end up going towards something totally different i honestly took it as enjoy the little things in life enjoy what you have like yes we have our goals what we want in life what we think we should have and you sometimes lose focus on what's just kind of in front of you being present and and you know you have your one life to live the overall story is really inspiring ambitious hopeful joyous but it also is a very very heavy topic so i don't really see this movie to be for kids i mean you as a parent you know what your child is able to handle i've said this in every single animated film or just family friendly movie that i've reviewed i don't want you going in there watching this and then your child kind of has like a mental breakdown or whatever it may be because your child may be a little bit too sensitive for certain topics or you uh, generally as a parent don't want to introduce your child to certain topics so again we are talking about death we're talking about the afterlife we're talking about life itself it does have some really cutesy little things to it um i feel like at the end of the day honestly it's gonna go over a lot of these kids heads because again heavy topic so i don't know maybe i don't even know how old they would probably get it maybe 10 and up maybe 12 and up as a parent that you're watching this with your kid you're going to enjoy it and the child is really going to enjoy it for all the pretty colors the little soul babies there's also a cat involved in the movie so they appreciate that as well uh, but again it could go over the kids heads a lot with this particular type of topic and then again as a parent you may not want um, your child to be you know introduced to things like this quite yet although i am going to be saying one tiny little spoiler when they are passing over to the other side <laughs> the little noise that they make it almost sounds like freaking mosquitoes or like just bugs when they hit the the the, the light thing that kills them 
They're like going to little balls and they're going to the light and it's like a little like zapping type of noise. I'm just like, are they like officially dead now? I feel like they should have made like a more like ah, type of sound going into the afterlife instead of like that zapping sound that honestly sounds like they're being zapped to death by this like light, like a bug zapper. I am going to go ahead and give Soul a medium popcorn. Um, definitely not one of my favorite uh, Pixar movies. I am going to be ranking all Pixar movies. Finally, I'm going to be doing one of these type of rankings. Um, that video should be coming out later on this week. You can see there where I officially place Soul within the 23 movies that is involved within the Pixar films. Not fully for children, more for adults. I still enjoyed it. I did not cry, you guys. I was expecting to cry in this one. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Um, I was kind of prepared to have like a little tissue in my pocket uh, just in case but no tears didn't even get teary eyed so I just I just don't know if I just wasn't really resonating with the movie itself but it was cute I enjoyed it I do recommend for you guys to check it out there is a little moment about midway I think it was midway through the movie that I did not see coming I don't even remember if that part was in the trailer which I feel like should have been part of the trailer it kind of really caught me off guard um i didn't mind it honestly when it was about to happen i was just like i bet you this is gonna happen i personally feel like that particular thing that happened was pretty obvious once that situation was happening that's just me personally i don't know if you've seen the movie did you see that happening as it was about to happen or was the overall thing that happened like a big shock for you i don't know for me personally i feel like it was like it was predictable to be honest with you let me know what did you guys think about that particular twist did you see it coming was it part of the trailer that i just totally missed like i don't remember if i saw the last trailer that popped up to be honest with you but these are my overall thoughts on soul um if you've seen the movie what did you guys think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you but so one of your most anticipated films of 2020 did it live up to the anticipation so of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!